Indiana. Wherever you go in this state, from small towns to city centers, from generation to generation, Hoosiers are connected by a common interest, a passion for the game of basketball. This year, when Indiana's NBA franchise needed a new coach, they reached into the heart of their state and plucked a native son to lead their team to glory. Larry Bird talks softly, but makes his words count. His approach was right for the Pacers. They won 58 games, and Bird won the NBA's Coach of the Year award. But now, Bird faces the biggest challenge of his brief coaching career, leading his team back from an 0-2 deficit against the defending champs. The Pacers have had their chances in this series. They might have gotten out of Chicago with a split, but they didn't. So today, the Pacers look for ways to capitalize on their opportunities and ways to slow the league's MVP. And this time, there's an important difference. The Pacers are back home again in Indiana. Game three next. This is the NBA on NBC. The 1998 NBA Playoffs. Today, it's the Chicago Bulls versus the Indiana Pacers. Market Square Arena, where the Pacers will try to get back in this series. Hey, you need tickets? Everybody needs tickets in Indianapolis this weekend, whether it's for games three and four of the Eastern Conference Finals or for tomorrow's Indy 500. And listen to them roar. It's almost a college-like atmosphere at Market Square Arena. They say that their fans are the NBA's loudest sixth man. And even before tip-off, listen to the decibel level here in Indiana as we welcome you to Game 3 with Doug Collins and Isaiah Thomas. I'm Bob Costas. Zeke, it was